Give me your hands, show me the door. I cannot stand to wait anymore. Somebody said, Be what you be. We could be old and cold and dead on the sea. But I love you more than words can say. Well, I can't count the reasons I should stay. Good morning, pirates. Ooh, so spooky. Yeah, it sure was, Sam. That's right. It's me, your host, Samantha Claire Megan, back for my third year. And I'm uh, Gillian Pease. This week, we have some phenomenal, stupendously breathtaking, extraordinary new segments of Ask the Staff, This or That, and This Week in History, as well as a fall sports recap. Hold your horses, bucko. First, we have this week's installment of The Principal's Message. Hello Pirates! To start this week, I have the honor of recognizing two recipients of the CHS Golden Apple for October. This month we have Mrs. Julie Leitz and Mrs. Liz Cucinata. Mrs. Leitz is a reading teacher here at CHS. She manages the social media for the high school and is part of the special events team responsible for so many of the high school's marquee events. Mrs. Cucinata is one of the high school's bus drivers and dedicates her time and energy to creating a safe place on her bus for all students. She genuinely cares for the students on her bus and works to develop an authentic relation with each of them. We are incredibly lucky to have both of these exceptional individuals as part of the CHS family. If you see them in the hall or on the bus, please take a moment to join me in congratulating them for all they do for CHS. If, you, if any of you have a CHS staff member you would like to nominate for a golden apple, you will find the nomination form on the wall across from the library. Please take a moment to recognize someone who has made a difference in your year. Congratulations to the CHS DECA for hosting a fantastic evening of friendly competition at their annual student faculty basketball game. Thanks to all who attended and I hope you had a great night. Thank you also to Bentley Bramhall and the students and staff who made the fall show a reality. I got the chance to attend Saturday evening and it was fantastic. Remember Wednesday is an early dismissal for students and staff and we will be closed Thursday and Friday for Thanksgiving. I hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday and enjoys the break. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Gorman, for that very important information. Attention seniors, RCBC will be holding an information session at CHS on Thursday, November 30th during third period. If you are interested in attending, please sign up in the counseling office by November 20th. After the session, there will be an opportunity to complete your application to RCBC. Thanks for that. Sam? Now to Joey with another utterly astounding segment of This Week in History. Welcome to This Week in History, showcasing three important historical events that happened this week. In 1969, the Apollo 12 mission landed on the moon. It was the second mission to the moon with the goal of serving and repairing a rover, and it showed the possibilities of efficient travel, service, and construction on the moon. For this week's A-list B-days, Kylo Ren himself, Adam Driver, was born on the 19th. Blow that piece of junk! Out of the sky! While Christmas Chronicles actress Goldie Hawn was born on the 21st. Nick, I bet the children would like a tour. In 1985, the first version of Microsoft Windows operating system was released. It ran on 16-bit processing, which was high quality for the time. The system propelled Microsoft into the tech world and marked the beginning of one of the most popular operating systems. And that was This Week in History. See you guys next week. That was great, but you forgot one thing. This Week in History, I was eating a fantastic cardboard dinner. Yeah, you were definitely there. Uh, yeah, of course I was. I was the star, wasn't I? Yeah, I'm sure you were. Duh! Now on to this week's jaw-dropping installment of Ask the Staff. <laughs> Each 
each week, we asked the staff a different question. This week, we asked, who is your celebrity crush? Let's see what they have to say. Oh, Rob Lowe. Ryan Reynolds, I really like him. Um, when I was young, I liked Sophie Marceau. Uh, Kelly Kapowski from Saved by the Bell. John Krasinski. Jim Halpert. Yep. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Macaulay Culkin, when I was little. Oh, celebrity crush. Uh, you know, I try, I try not to say that I have one. You know, I don't want to uh, let anybody know that I don't like anybody other than my wife or love my wife. But, uh, you know, I'd say J-Lo definitely ranks up there. Oh, Sophia Loren. No doubt there. Absolutely. Most beautiful woman in the world. It's got to be either, either Dolly Parton or uh, John Cena. Carmen Electra. Oh, Zac Efron. For a while, it was Channing Tatum, um, and like a tie between Channing Tatum and Bradley Cooper. Let's go with... I kind of have a tie, but if I had to commit to one, it would be Linda Hamilton. Jessica Biel. Uh, Tom Hanks. Heather Thomas, how does that date me? <laughs> Heather Lock, the Heathers, Locklear and Thomas. How's that? So I would say from the past, you know, having my little posters hanging up in my room, I would probably say John Stamos. I would probably say Margot Robbie. Old Jennifer Aniston. Uh, Alyssa Milano, come on, that's the easy one. She's aged like a fine wine. She and Mrs. Campbell are the most beautiful people on the planet. Kelly Kapowski from Saved by the Bell. Um, JT Romuto, for sure. Jennifer Lawrence, 100%, no questions. Always been and always will be Shakira. I feel like it's changed as I've gotten older. Like I remember back when I was younger, Topanga Lawrence from Boy Meets World. Then it was Jennifer Aniston from Friends. I'll go with those two. Oh, it's a Mexican actor. His name is Gael Gar Garcia Bernal, and most people would not know who that is. When I was a lot younger, it was Davy Jones from The Monkees. Um, he was super cute. Uh, now, I probably George Clooney. Yeah, no, I don't know. Maybe like back in the 80s, like Tawny Katane in the White Snake video, I would say, qualifies. I think when I was a very young person, before I really knew what a crush was, I had a real big crush on Daisy Duke from the Dukes of Hazard. Wow, that was great. Sam, who's your celebrity crush? Well, um, well, my one and only big bad day, of course. Wow, what a shocker. Attention seniors, the deadline to choose a senior portrait yearbook pose is this Tuesday, November 21st at midnight. Please go to www.lorestudio.com and choose Seniors from the drop-down menu at the top. Pick View slash Order, enter the, pr the Proofs login code given to you via email by Lore's Photography, and then choose a yearbook pose. Please note, the process looks like a purchase with an item in the shopping cart, but upon purchasing, the yearbook pose should be free. If you have any questions or need a login code to complete the process, please see Mr. Iacono in room B123 or email him at iaconoc at cinnamonson.com. Any senior that does not choose a yearbook pose by tomorrow will have one selected for them by the Buccaneer yearbook. Thank you. Wow, thanks Killian for that bewildering statement. Now for the recap of this season's fall sports. The football team ended their season with a record of 9-2, including a trip to the semifinals. First team all freedom division honors for several of our football players, including Michael Beers, Kane Block, Aiden Burke, Brian Finnerty, Sadie Gant, Gavin Pendergast, Luke Smith, Donovan Wilkinson, Kyle Willis, and honorable mentions from Dom Del Gerpro and JJ Straub. Girls soccer finished with a record of 16 and six, also claiming the division championship title after winning four to three against Delran and making it to the finals against Seneca. The field hockey team finished with a record of nine and 11. They made it to the second round of the sectionals. The girls tennis team ended their season with a record of 10 and six. The boys soccer team ended their season with an impressive record of 11, 9, and 1. This included winning the division, making it to the semifinals for the NJSIAA playoffs. The girls cross country team ended their season with a record of 13 and 3. 
The girls qualified for the Group 2 state championship. Anna Marino, Olivia Moyer, and Abby Flannery were named first team BCSL. Anna Marino was named first team all Burlington County and first team all South Jersey Group 2. Also qualified for the Meet of Champions, which is held on Saturday, November 11th. The unified soccer team ended a fabulous season and were teammates on the field as they became friends off the field. The boys cross country team finished with an impressive record of 10-1. Girls Volleyball ended their season with a record of 10 and 15, making it to the second round of the NJSIAA playoffs. Oh my god, fantastic job, Pirates. I bet the field hockey team missed me this year. I think they were just fine without you. Ugh, literally whatever. Here's this or that. with today? Manny. Yasson. Sean. James. Nice, nice. Okay. Philadelphia Eagles or Kansas City Chiefs? Chiefs. Chiefs. Eagles. Uh, Chiefs. What? What? What are you guys talking about? What? I'm, Who you're the only, this? only right answer. Only right answer. Yeah, th that's. Okay. These kids are frauds. <laughs> Can I hold the mic or no? No. <laughs> All right. Philadelphia Eagles or Kansas City Chiefs? Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles. Eagles? It's got to be the Eagles. No, it doesn't. Okay. The why? Why? I'm an Eagles fan. Really? Yeah, that's why I just... Who are we here with? You know who I am. And what we have to ask? Kyle Hart. Okay. Um, the Eagles or Kansas City Chiefs? Eagles. Um, <laughs> when you have a crush, do you make the first move? <laughs> or do you wait? When I used to have crushes? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Uh, maybe like half and half. Um, I usually wait. So they do something, yeah. I'd say wait. Yeah. Absolutely <laughs> wait. Absolutely wait. <laughs> wait. You gotta wait. You don't want to be bold. <laughs> Why? Nervous. <laughs> no, I'm bold to make the first move. Why? That's my boyfriend. Really? Aww. What was the question? Oh uh, make the first move. Really? Yes. Doesn't look like it. Be bold. Wait. Excuse me. Do you think I'm gonna be wasting my time? Like, obviously I'm worth it, so I'm not gonna be doing chasing. Of course. I mean, I waited. I guess wait. Would you guys rather be popular and untrustworthy or alone but trustworthy? Popular but untrustworthy. Wait, can you go back to me? Alone but trustworthy. Alone but trustworthy. Alone but trustworthy. Um, maybe, maybe popular. They're trying to take over. This is not good. Should we infiltrate them? We should. Not. <laughs> They're taking over. OMG Killian, you're both a loner and untrustworthy. Unlike my amazing brother Paul, who's both super popular and trustworthy. Oh really? I heard that Paul kid has no friends and smells really bad. No he doesn't. I, I mean, he smells absolutely superb. Well, that's it for this week. If you have any questions or suggestions, email Mr. Wilson at wilsons at cinnamonson.com. Tune in next week to see Mr. Wilson dress up as a turkey.